Hi, it's me, Megan, and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In today's tutorial, we're going to teach you how to create rules in your Google Ad Exchange platform. Rules allow you to cater your ad tags to different types of audiences, which in turn allows you to serve your users better. Rules also give publishers greater control over how they can traffic ads through different types of ad units. Are you ready? Let's begin. In our last lesson, we went through the various types of ad exchange rules, including blocking, open auction pricing, opt-in, and channels, among others. In this lesson, I will walk you through the process of how to set up a rule in your ad exchange account. To begin, we must log into our ad exchange account. From within our account, we select Rules. It's located in the top bar menu. On the Rules page, notice in the left-hand panel the various types of rules available. We went over these in our previous lesson, Types of Rules in Google Ad Exchange. If you'd like to go over the various rules covered in the last lesson, click the link to redirect to Lesson 44. In this lesson, we're going to choose the blocking rule. The blocking rule is a favorite among publishers. Why? Some publishers are hesitant to fill their unsold inventory on Google Ad Exchange because the inventory is open to all ad agencies and advertisers. They may be concerned that ads that don't fit into their site's brand or might otherwise repel their web audience would be served. Setting up a blocking rule minimizes this risk. In this example, we want to create a blocking rule that prevents Google Ad Exchange from serving any dating-related ads on our site. Let's create this rule now. We will select New Display Rule. Next, the Ad Exchange requests us to assign a name to represent this new display rule. Since we want to eliminate any dating ads to serve through our remnant inventory, we will call this rule Non-Dating Ads Only in the Name field. After naming our new rule, we can add an optional targeting measure. Ad Exchange offers a variety of targeting options including tags, target tags by Ad Exchange tags, DFP ad units, targets ad units and DFP, DFP placements, targets placements and DFP, URLs, targets specific URLs embedded within the creative, geography, targets a specific country, inventory sizes, targets specific ad slot sizes, DFP key values, targets key values in DFP. Operating systems, targets the ads to serve only on specific operating systems. And device categories, targets the ads to serve only to specific devices. In this example, let's apply the geography targeting option to our inventory. Since we are choosing to assign geolocation in this inventory, we must enter the country we'd like to target. I'm going to enter Germany into the search box and check mark the include box next to it. In doing so, this targets this specific non-dating blocking rule to ads served to Germany. You can double check what countries you've targeted the inventory to by surveying the right hand panel under selected targeting criteria. With our targeting criteria selected, we can move on to the block the following section further down the page. Within the block the following section, we must specify the type of ad we want to block. Again, the ad exchange gives us several options, including general categories, sensitive categories, advertiser URLs, such as competitor advertisers, cookies and data uses, non-Google demand. In this lesson, we're going to choose to block ads that fall under sensitive categories. There are two types of sensitive categories, standard or restricted. Standard sensitive categories include ad content with subject matter ranging from politics, religion, weight loss, astrology, among many others are allowed to serve by default. Restricted sensitive categories include opt-in only content, such as gambling and adult, or content that may be illegal in certain countries, such as betting. If you'd prefer to take a more hands-on approach to managing which sensitive categories of ads you'd like to block on your site, you can override the Ad Exchange default settings and input your own categories. For this lesson, we're going to pick Dating. Once you select the category and click Block, the category will be transferred to the right-hand panel under Sensitive Categories. With the final step completed, we can now click Save. And there you have it. 
In this lesson, we created a blocking rule in our Google Ad Exchange restricting all dating ads from serving to our remnant site inventory that are targeted to Germany. Blocking is just one of the many rules you can create to have more control over which advertisers have access to your remnant inventory. When creating rules, one important detail to keep in mind that the more rules you create to block potential buyers, the smaller the active pool of bidders is. Excessively creating many blocking rules may reduce potential buyers or advertisers for your remnant inventory and reduce RPMs and ad revenue. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!